In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free, for ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I am writing to you, children, because you know the Father. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away but whoever does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, had lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
The elderly widow Anna is yet another faithful person who is featured in the first couple of chapters of the Gospel of Luke. Mary, Joseph, Zechariah, Elizabeth, and Simeon are other examples of people strong and active in their faith that we find at the beginning of Luke. What distinguishes Anna from the others, though, is her age. She's 84 years old, and the fact that she never left the temple. She stayed there day and night in prayer and fasting. Usually, when we think of ways that we can serve God, it's through some activity for others, visiting the sick or the elderly, bringing them food or taking care of other needs. Anna served God by remaining in the temple, praying and fasting. By her life of prayer and fasting in the temple, she was a powerful witness of God's activity to others. When Mary and Joseph took the infant Jesus to the temple, Anna praised God and spoke about the child to all who looked forward to salvation. Anna's prayer and fasting and sharing the story of Jesus made her a wonderful witness to what God is doing in our world. Anna's life of prayer reminds us that there are many ways we can serve God, and one important way is in our prayer. In prayer, we surrender ourselves to God. Such service of God empowers us, as it empowered Anna to be witnesses of God's presence and activity to all who are still longing for the coming of the Lord. The Word came into our world as a little child to draw us close to the Father. May he be with us during these days of joy to sustain us and guide us. For all who are, out, who are without the company of loved ones during this Christmas season, that the Lord may ease their loneliness and isolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those without warmth, food, or shelter, that they may be sustained by the compassion and love of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for ourselves as God's holy people, that we may give glory to God and be instruments of his peace and love to others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Maida Riling and family, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly, the sick, and those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your most holy will. For we offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay. 
qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anius Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anius Dei, Qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work we pray the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.